Hey everybody. So this video is about superposition, which is a really useful circuit analysis technique if you have a linear circuit. Linear meaning like the value of all the resistors don't change depending on the voltage or current supplying them. This also holds for inductors, capacitors, and op amps that we'll talk about this semester. For nonlinear components like diodes or transistors, we'll save that for another semester. So how superposition works is we would like to know the contribution of each independent source to the circuit. So let's say like this voltage source. So we deactivate everything else, like we turn this off. Solve for everything, the voltage and current everywhere, based on this voltage supply. Save that information. Then we move on to another source, like say this independent current source, turn everything else off, so we deactivate this, solve for everything in the circuit, save that information. So then if we have the combined effect is just add everything from this one plus everything from this one. That's it, you just add them directly together. So let's get into a little bit more detail. How do you deactivate a current source? So to de deactivate a current source, we mean we want this current to be zero, zero amps. Zero amps mean means that there's no current at all going this way, which is to do this. Right. So to deactivate a current source, you replace it with an open circuit. Let me jot this down. So to deactivate a current source, you just, just remove it, so you replace it with an open circuit. So now it looks like this, solve for everything. So let me just label, let's say, the current here, I'll call it I1 prime. I'll call this I2 prime, I3 prime, I4 prime. Then, for the same circuit, now we're going to deactivate the voltage source. So how do you deactivate a voltage source? That means we want this voltage to be zero. Zero volts. Right? That means the voltage across, right, from here, is the same as the voltage here. Which is to just replace it with a wire. If I just do this, that doesn't mean the voltage here is the same as the voltage here. I'd have to connect them with a wire like this. So to deactivate a voltage source, you replace it with a short circuit. Short circuit. So for a physical system, you can't just, like say you have a battery, you can't just unplug the battery and then leave it as is you would have to unplug the battery and then replace it with a wire. Okay, and now if we solve this circuit, now let's say the current here is different. I'll call it I1 double prime, I2 double prime, like this. And then, of course, if you know the current everywhere, you know the voltage from Ohm's law, right? You know the voltage everywhere as well. So combine the combined effect in our original circuit would be like here I1 would be I1 prime from the voltage source plus I1 double prime from the current source. And then similarly, right, I2 for this circuit is I2 prime from the voltage source plus I2 double prime from the current source, etc., and for all of the above. And then same for voltage, like if the voltage here is V1 prime from the voltage from the 120 volt source, and then here I'll call this V1 double prime from this current source, then our original circuit here, this voltage V1 would be V1 prime plus V1 double prime, etc. Okay, so that's the technique. So just as an example, let's try it. 
So if we have this circuit here, let's solve for everything everywhere. So let's say I put a reference here, I'll use the node voltage method. I'll call this node A. So if we, if we go KCL out of node A, VA minus 120, right over here, over, this is an A, 6, plus, now let's go this way, VA minus 0 over 3. Okay, now let's go this way, plus VA minus 0 over, these two in series, 6. Okay, so then it's just one equation, solve for VA. If you know, if you know VA, can you get I1 prime? 120 volts minus VA over 6. Right, V I2 prime would be VA over 3. Right, so we, we can get everything. I3 prime is VA over 6. And I4 prime is the same as I3 prime. And now you know all the currents, you can get all the voltages from Ohm's law, right? Okay, and then now let's go to the next, this one. So uh, I'll use the node voltage method again. If I make that my reference, I'll call this A and B and C. So for node A, if we go out of node A, KCL, VA over VA minus zero over six ohms. Plus, now let's go this way, VA minus 0 over 3, now let's go this way, VA minus VB over 2, All right, now let's go KCL for node B, VB minus VA, I'm going over here, over 2, now this way, plus VB minus 0 minus VC, I didn't need to call this C, right? That's the same as the reference. VB minus 0 over 4, and then this is going out. Okay, so two equations, two unknowns. If you know both node voltages, you can get everything, right? So let's say like I, I1 double prime is 0 minus VA over 6. I2 double prime right here, VA over 3 etc. I3 double prime. VA minus VB over 2. And what's left? Oh, here. Y4 double prime is VB minus 0 over 4. Right, and then, now that we know I1, I2, I3, I4 prime, and all double prime, just add them all together. Now we got everything for the our original circuit. Okay, so that's the superposition method. Okay, how about one more example? This time, there are dependent sources. So you can't deactivate dependent sources. You can only deactivate independent sources. So, for example, let's take our original circuit, but now for superposition, let's deactivate the current source here and then solve this circuit, and then we start all over. Here, we deactivate the voltage source. We can't just leave it like this. We have to replace it with a wire. Okay, and then there we go. Then you solve this. And I'll just call this everything like I prime, V prime, then I'll call this one I double prime, V double prime. And then when we solve for everything, we just add them together for our original circuit. Okay, so if we go just a little bit more, so let's say I pick a reference here, I'll we'll call this node A and B and C. So if we go KCL out of node A, VA, I'm going this way, minus 10 over 5 ohms, I'm going this way now, VA minus 0 over 20 ohms, and over here, that's going in, so minus 0.4 V delta prime. All right, so now let's go um, so that's actually it. Yeah, these are not essential nodes. 
that's it. So we got two equations, one unknown. We need a, an equation that has this V delta. So what's the current? See this current going this way? Let me draw it like this. Right? It's the same here, this way. So what's the current here? Uh, see how the voltage is positive going down and this arrow is going up? So the current here is V delta prime with a minus sign over 10, which is the same current here, which is 0.4 V delta prime. So look at this equation. Let's solve that for V delta. Um, minus V delta prime equals 4. Move this on that side. So therefore, V delta prime equals 0. Okay, so we got that. So this is 0. And then that goes there. So we solve for VA. And once you know VA, you can get everything else, right? You can get this current. 10 minus VA over 5, you can get this current, VA over 20. Now that we know V delta, we know everything here. Okay, now this circuit, uh, I'll put a reference here, I'll call this node A and B and C. So if we go KCL out of node A, that's over here, VA over 5, now over here, VA over 20, over here, it's going in, so minus 0.4 V double prime. Now let's go KCL for out of B, so that's going out, so 0.4 V delta. Now that's going in, minus 5, and then going this way, V B minus V C over 10. Okay, but notice that V C, which is more, here or here? See the plus sign? So this side is more. How much more? This much more. So VC is actually 2i delta double prime. So we could actually just put that right here. Two I delta double prime. Okay, so we have here we have two equations, three unknowns. We need one more. Either an expression for this or an expression for this. We don't need both. So let's say we want an expression for I delta double prime. It's just the voltage here minus the voltage here over 5. So 0 minus VA over 5. There we go. So you can just take this, put it right there, and then it's back to two equations, two unknowns. Solve for VA, solve for V delta double prime, and then you got everything. Um, instead of this one, you could have also written a, an expression for this. V delta double prime would be this minus this. VB minus VC, and again, VC is that. 2I delta double prime. Right, so you could have equation 1, equation 2, and either this one, I'll call it 3A, or this one. And then you have three equations. For three unknowns. Okay, so give this superposition method a try. Honestly, for the circuits this semester, it actually makes the analysis worse, right? It's more work doing superposition compared to if we just started with this original circuit and then just did mesh current method or node voltage method. It's worse. It takes more effort, but it's important that you know the technique because it's extremely useful for other circuits in the future. Okay, so give it a try. Let me know if you have questions and I'll see you in the next video.